Each cell in the sample grid has its own gain value. Changing the gain value allows you to make quiet samples louder and louder samples quieter. Ideally, all samples mix at optimal levels with the F1's volume sliders all the way up. This allows for smooth transitions between different samples by matching their levels with the individual gain settings. The concept behind gain adjustment is that it should be performed while listening so you know if the gain level is correct. Therefore, gain adjustment from the F1 can only be applied to samples that are currently playing. This technique is based on use of the F1 with four volume faders all the way up. To decrease the gain of a sample that's too loud, you can turn down the volume fader for the slot until the sample is at the appropriate level. Now hold shift and move the volume fader back up to the top. The sample's gain will be turned down by the amount that the volume is turned up, so you'll hear no change in volume. If a sample is too quiet compared to the others, the procedure is modified slightly. In this case, the kick drum in slot 1 could be louder. Hold shift and move the volume fader down about halfway. You won't hear any volume change, but now you'll have space to move the fader upwards to increase the volume. If you find the right volume, then hold shift and move the volume fader the rest of the way up. If you find that the sample still isn't loud enough, repeat the process again from the first step. To change the gain with your mouse, open the Remix Deck's Advanced Panel. Click the name of the sample you want to edit in order to select it. Adjust the gain knob in the advanced panel. The gain control in the advanced panel only affects the currently selected sample. You can individually adjust the pitch for each sample in the remix deck. You will only be able to hear the sample's change in pitch if key lock is enabled for the slot. If key lock is off, the sample's pitch will be directly related to its playback speed, and changing the speed will change the pitch. The Remix Deck's pitch control will have no effect. Turn on Key Lock for a row of samples if you'd like to change the sample's pitch individually. To change the pitch of a sample, enter Pitch Mode by pressing Shift plus Type. Both buttons will begin to flash. Press and hold the pad of the sample you want to edit. Rotate the encoder to adjust the pitch. The F1 display will show you the amount of semitones you've changed the pitch by. Pushing the encoder down will reset the pitch to its original value. You can also adjust a sample's pitch using the keyboard and mouse. Click the sample's name to select it for editing. Open the Remix Deck's Advanced Panel and adjust the pitch knob. Press Shift plus Type again to exit pitch mode. In Size Mode, you can change the size of a sample. Press Size to enter Size Mode. The Size button will begin to flash. Press and hold the pad of the sample you want to edit. Rotating the encoder counterclockwise will cut the sample length in half. Pushing the encoder down resets the size to its original value. Rotating the encoder clockwise will double the size of the sample. Increasing a sample size beyond its original length will add virtual silence to the sample. Press Size again to exit Size Mode. It's possible to scale the playback speed of a sample, quickly doubling or halving its playback speed. This is accomplished via Speed Mode. Press Shift plus Size to enter Speed Mode. Both buttons will begin to flash. Press and hold the pad of the sample you want to edit. While holding the pad, rotate the encoder. Each clockwise tick will double the playback rate, while each counterclockwise tick will halve the rate. Press Shift plus Size again to exit speed mode. A similar behavior can be achieved without the F1 
by using the BPM double half buttons in the advanced panel. 